Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut, and in this week's episode, we are going back to our roots. Well, we're kind of going back to our roots. You'll notice from the silhouette of this car, we have a 110 Defender, maybe a 130 Defender, or do we have a long wheelbase G-Wagon, and we've done a crazy conversion? No, it is none of the above. This car has a seat on the front. What could possibly come with a seat? Ladies and gents, it's the Ineos Grenadier. I have been so excited about receiving this vehicle. It's such a long time coming. We've been asked by so many people, when are you doing the Grenadier? What are you gonna do? How are you gonna do it? Can we see renderings? And now the time is amongst us. We have a Grenadier. This one has been dropped off. I think we are the first sort of aftermarket company to get hold of one, to have a play around with it for a couple of days. Um, Ineos brought it down to us yesterday, gave us a little run round on the car, and I am super impressed. We are in the inside, and the first thing I want to address is, yes, it does have a BMW gear stick. Are we offended by that? No, we are not. The gear stick, which obviously goes hand in hand with the two BMW engines that Ineos use, which is the three litre petrol and the three litre diesel twin turbo. The first thing I thought when I jumped into this car is almost like, Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. This switch fuselage looks like something from an aeroplane. The finishing and the, the bolts and the way it's all put together is so well put together. You know, this is Ineos DNA here that we really, really, really want to be respectful of when we make parts for this car, when we're designing things for the outside, we want it to replicate the inside so it feels like the parts come out of the factory. Seating position is really comfortable. Obviously it's got Recaro seats, which we could potentially work with. We've done it before in our XRS models where we could maybe change the seat back so you've got a bit more of a bucket seat with a, with a, a, a seat back on there as well. One feature that's pretty cool, two horns. What car has two horns? We've got a bike horn, or we've got a get out of the way horn. This cool little option, Safari windows, which basically can open like a normal old fashioned, you know, get air in the car window, or if you flick the switch here, you can actually take the entire window out. You can literally get out of the car and climb onto the roof from the steering wheel. Absolutely amazing. The only problem for us is it does throw a little bit of a spanner in the works with our roof light bar because normally we like to come back to here, but we're just gonna have to do something special and creative and get the lights into a pod just so we can just get these windows out. We just gotta see how far they tip up just to see whether that'll work. Best thing for us here with the central fuselage, there's gonna be a switch for our roof light bar. Anything else that we wanna put on the car that's electrical, I think we can make it work here. And one more thing just before we take this for a drive. The door thud is proper. And hey, what do you reckon to this then? Now that you, you're not a heavy fella, but that looks strong. Yeah, 150 kilos. So this is the new Ineos Grenadier. Yeah. Which, I mean, it sounds like a, a, a nice pint of prestigious ale, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, I'll have a pint of Grenadier. I'm not sure that you should refer to it as a pint, but I think it was from the actual, uh, the name was from the pub that 
Um, so Rack, do you, want, do you want to come down and watch your angles? Like just, or are you just going to stay there for the rest of this? I like it. You like lording it over it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, didn't you? I mean, for, I'm taking my right to place. <laughs> when I first came round the corner, I thought it was some kind of like retro mod, old school defender. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's very... I mean, we, we should probably address that question first. There's, there's going to be a lot of people that say, is it what the defender should have been? Is it they should have carried on? I really like it. From it's kind of old school defender, sort of Hummer. Like, yeah, you know, it's like got, it does have Hummer vibes, but honestly, the quality of the inside, I can't wait for us to drive this. I yeah. think it's gonna be cool. Well, just having a look straight away, I mean, it looks like you've, you've got the sort of modern technology, but in a- Recaro such a, seats as well. In such a digital world, it's nice to see buttons and dials. <laughs> 100%. So when Ineos came yesterday, we went through the entire spec. Spring suspension, never gonna be air on it. Yeah, they're never gonna make air. They want you to, if you break it, if you break a part, someone can send you a part so you can fix your car. They don't want it to be, oh, a bag's failed on the air suspension. They wanna send you a spring because you bust it going yeah. through so, a ravine. So this is quite, so for the, for the old Defender owner who yeah. didn't like the new generation Defender. They'll hate it. Do you think, really? Oh, they're so purist, aren't they? But is this not the whole point of this? It's a little bit more purist with a nice touch of modern technology inside. Maybe, but one thing about when the new Defender came out, we went for a battle of about a year, didn't we? Yeah. Everyone's like that, don't like the new one, don't like the new one, don't like the new one. And How many old Defender owners <laughs> have we got yeah. in new cars now? We, we nailed it. Yeah, yeah, we have, we have. And even like window, I'm just seeing like these details, like window blocks, like, you know. Yeah, like, so obviously we'll go over some parts later on in this episode, but I've got ideas about making, you know, like this is where the raised air snorkel goes. They don't cover this up, yeah? They just put plates on it with bolts and, I, I want bolts and fixings all over this car. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited. So there is so many cool features on this. Lashing points, this hook, that hook, electric, but, but yeah, I, I mean, look. It's got windows that come out, look. <laughs> right, so there's a clip here. Yeah, clip here, straight out. Oh, that's just, that, look that's, at that, that's done. out, that's done now. That's done. So cool. So can we get this out on the road then? Are we allowed to drive it? Uh, we are allowed to drive it. We have been given the go ahead. Um, we're going to get this scanned. Once it's scanned and we've done all of the bits, we'll get it out on the road. Well, with time. that glass in your hand, I think I might win rock, paper, scissors to see who <laughs> drives first. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, I'll let, you go, I'll let you go first nice. on this one. You know what? We're gonna stand on. Hold that second. Open both doors. I will stand behind the doors. Yeah. yeah. So the good thing about this car is you can actually just get on. Not care. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it fits. <laughs> I mean, now, now, actually, now I've seen that. How far we... back does that light go to about here? Yeah, I mean, if we drop the light this, this far forward and come round yeah, I think there is a bit to come down that front rad of the roof. Yeah. Be mindful of the window rubber, but it can come out, uh, yeah. But obviously what we'd have to do, because the safari windows is, is we'd have to cut out round here. Yeah. You mean and model come, and design? Model and design, not cut out. Correct terminology. Model and design <laughs> round here. So these windows can still actually come out. We would have to just check, you know what? 
I think it, it might reach. Yeah, so that, that laser lamp, I mean... Comes, what, to, comes to here. So a third of the depth of that. That's yeah. right, yeah. And if we could just come forward that little bit. Yeah, I mean, I know, I know it's hanging over a little bit. And you, this is more about a pair of roof lights. This isn't about a roof pod. This is like individual ones. Yeah, that's right. Because um, Ineos offer a roof rack with a light bar on it, yeah. but nothing that's sort of integrated. It's not wide enough. No. So the car is wider than the G-Wagon. Mind you, G-Wagon is quite a slim car, isn't it? On the top half, it's got quite narrow hips. It has, yeah. I'm looking at this angle and the actual, the way it, it turns up and the profile off the back of the car coming here. Look at that angle for me. Actually really, really, a spoiler really suits the profile of the car. And we know full well that the silhouette from the side of our car with the spoiler and the light bar on the front actually finishes yeah. the silhouette off quite nicely. We do like to change the OEM silhouette, don't we? Yes, we do, yeah. And if it wraps down the side, I think like what we said at the front with the mechanical fixings, if we've got fixing points just here, that yeah. are not fixing points, just like faux bolts that look like the spoiler's got a utility sort of look to it, I think it will be a nice addition to the car. I mean, what sort of finish do you think? Are we talking like a Raptor finish? Yeah, like this? almost like to, to repli done? replicate their stippled plastic here. So rather than gloss, you know, shiny finish, it's yeah. got to be raw, it's got to be rugged, it's got to go with the DNA of the car. And are you thinking a pair of spoilers like the T6? Or are you thinking one? I think we'll probably have to do it, 3D print it, and check whether we want it as twin spoilers or whether we want it as one that goes across the entire car. Got to be a rear one. It's a 90 rear. That's why it, it doesn't even suit this car. You no. just picked I up the wrong, pick the wrong one. one. You picked up the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know our own product. I do carbon, not plastic. From a from an aesthetic perspective, like <laughs> it's so too, it's too big. I, I know it's too big, but when you look at these cutouts, if we carry that on, but imagine like these little raptored. Yeah. Um, pieces of metal cut out in this shape with a with a mechanical fixing through there to carry this over and actually like yeah. bolting it onto the arch. Proper. I think it'll be cool. Yeah. Okay. But it's given us some good ideas. So now we've taken a look at the car, I've jumped back into the original renders that we did and we already put some parts on, but the kind of, this didn't really follow the DNA of the car. It was, it was more like clean, crisp styling aesthetics. If you look here, we did, the, we did the light bar up top, but we split it through the middle. So the, the ridge on the roof wasn't covered, but we know now from putting the, the G-Wagon light bar on, it looks quite good as it goes across. Around the back, we did just put a lip spoiler on, but again, very clean and crisp. And now we've seen, it's not really shown on the render here, but we know that there's lots of bolts and fixings on the side, so we can basically plumb into the rear spoiler and look like it's almost like technically bolted on from the side. We just dropped our WX3 wheels on to start off with because it was probably the most appropriate wheel to put on the, on the Grenadier, but we would like to run a bigger tire, so it looks a lot more aggressive and off-road to go with a car. And then what we did round the front already, we dropped some pods on over the top with a sort of a version of our bullnose bonnet. Obviously early designs, which again looks quite smooth and slick. So this gives us a good idea to go back how we thought we was gonna do it, but now seeing the car probably completely different. Right, so rock slider off. And here are the options. So if we put up the tube first, just put it up to here to show everyone. Now grab the, the full size step. God, that was good, wasn't it? So that actually, from a fit perspective, I'm gonna get to the end and not be out of the side. Yeah, the only thing I'd say about this though is the functionality of it. You haven't quite got that much pad here, this end. Right. But what about with two pads on? So let's try with two pads. 
Um, you know, I mean, you would have to extend the pole and maybe that would yeah. work because then you'd have one for door one and door two. Should we try it on the two inch? Because yeah. that's a little bit longer. Right. So this is a two, two, two and, and a half. half inch, but yeah. this is also flattened a little bit. So the radius is very similar to the three inch. Right. Should we get a tape measure and just measure off the floor? And then what are we saying about that? Yeah, that's perfect. That actually looks quite good. I like this. We've got the first Ineos car and we're going to have the first aftermarket product made within 24 hours of receiving it. Check that out. Slam it. Slam it. Or slam it. Goose. <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, I, was just, I, I know it, I know it's not very practical, but how much you want like fuel pumps like and, and other things. We just want to go. It feels solid. Do you know what it feels like? I'm in like some like Hummer, like you know, like army truck, because I've, I've got a radio and I'm just looking at loads of switches. Engage with the enemy, engage with the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. I, I, I absolutely love it, but it's comfortable and, and There's not many things that put a grin on my face, but in many cars when I get it. It's quite um it's quite quiet as well, isn't it? Yeah. Do my do my favourite feature. <laughs> So you've got an aggressive road rage horn in the centre. Yeah. Yo. Aggressive, and yeah. then you've got like a cycle one. Like so, if you see a nun on a bike, you just let her know your presence. Why a nun? Well, just like it's innocent, isn't it? Just like <laughs> dude, dude. Should I replace my motor? Because I live in Cambridgeshire. My nearest town is Cambridge. Now you know the bikes in Cambridge, don't you? Yeah. You see me rolling about in one of these and just giving them a little. Dude, dude. It doesn't lean much either as well. It looks... That stayed fairly flat, didn't it? Have you seen that? It's got an actual, like, analog compass. No, that's an analog. That's an analog, look. What direction are we going in at the moment? Northwest. Northwest. <laughs> Northwest. This, it feels like a cockpit. It feels like I'm eight and I've gone up to see the captain on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I know we keep saying it, but I love the fact that there is dials and buttons rather yeah. than touchscreen. What did you say? An analog car in a digital world. Yeah. That's, I that's, like that. Yeah. They should use that as their slogan. There you go, guys. There you go. Uh, copyright Lenny Howlett, um, <laughs> four thirty-five in the afternoon. I'll, I'll, I'll write something up and you can sign that if you want to use that. Um, <laughs> an analog car in a digital world. <laughs> In your square deal, an analog car in a digital world. <laughs> you did sound like an MC, a rave there. <laughs> Keeps you, keep your arms inside the ride at all times. It's got, it's got some like. It's got some poke. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I really like I it. I really, really like it. Do you know what? It's, like I said, it's, it's quiet, it's comfortable, but it does feel like you're in something like big and cool. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I, do you know what? I have clocks as well, people passing by, the looks that it's getting. Well, it's new, it's new, it's isn't new. It's not many yeah. of them around. Well, like, this is the literally the first one I've seen, um, let alone driven. You know what? I walked past it while it was in the showroom earlier, and uh, a couple of the boys were looking around it as well. I mean, this has gauged probably more interest from the boys in the workshop than yeah. something in a, in a very, very long time. Yeah, it's manly though, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's, it's very cool. But you know what? It's so I, manly these days. Probably not, you get yeah. cancelled for that. Yeah. Um, it's a manly car. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like a an old Defender 110 has had an affair with a Hummer H1. And this is the result, but with modern technology. Yeah, I get that. Do you know I'm, what I mean? It's I'm picturing a Defender 110 humping, and a Hummer. Well, I think the Defender 110 would be the you know <laughs> best British, like you know having a nice having an affair with like a little American Hummer H1. You know, um, I don't it, think American comes into this though. No, I think it is a best of British. 
we can carry across our best of British grill range and things like that. I'm excited, I've got so many ideas yeah. in my head. I've got so many ideas about this car and I don't I don't want any other aftermarket modifier to have it. Really? I don't want it to have it. <laughs> I want it all to be mine. Yeah. You're really excited about this. <laughs> I love it, yeah. This is where it all started for me and it, like, I'm yeah. kind of like- Is this taking you back to like, yeah, 2013, so the good. old Defenders? Yeah. I want one of these. I'm going to order one. Oh, really? Yes. So what would you go for? Petrol, diesel? Oh, petrol, 100%. That, that pulled really nice, really so nice. So this is obviously powered by BMW. So what, three yeah. litre petrol? Three litre petrol. Twin turbo. Single turbo, Single I think. Turbo. And the diesel is a twin turbo turbo from memory. Hold oh, on, it. Oh, it. I have a fact sheet. <laughs> Straight six. Yeah. Eight speed auto. I think Tom said one's the B, 27 or B28 engine, is that correct? B58. B 57 and 58, that's yeah. it, yeah. Are you offended by the BMW gear knob? I'm not at all. No. Because oh, do you know what that, all that says to me is reliability. Yeah. German reliability. But it's, it is in a class of its own, isn't it? And there's nothing else like this on the market, is there really? I like it, I like it. I know I keep saying I like it, but I do like it. Yeah. It's early on Thursday morning, 24 hours later, and Reese isn't one to fail on a 24 hour challenge. He's not only got one style of side step, he's got two styles of side step. And they look quite good. Yeah, yeah. They 24 really hours, they're not good. too Let's bad. Let's get them on the car. Because I'm wearing my good trainers today, I've got Mike to help. I just want to say something. Wasn't the double tube idea an amazing idea? Simon, stop blowing smoke. Wasn't the double tube idea an amazing idea? Well, let's see what it looks like when it's all done and finished, eh? No, I'm glad no, you're good at designing because no, you're rubbish at singing. Mean, only one and a half. What? I'm glad you're good at designing because you're rubbish at singing. Yeah, thank you. Right, what are you saying now? Let's put pad on to see. So the birth of the Ineos double tube, cutty cutty out in style of door step. Yeah. Is that what we're gonna call it? Yeah. So we have option one, which matches the interior of the Grenadier step. And we can also have a stainless steel insert to go in there as well, which can be silver or black. Option two, we've got a black checker plate, which can again be silver or black the new laser cut design to match the mounting points on the doors. So you've got some family resemblance to the Ineos DNA. Then we have our new modern steps for the city truck. And then lastly, option five, which is our checker step. There you go guys, five options. Get in the comments, tell us which one you prefer. Right. <laughs> just, just, oh. This was supposed to be a smooth running outro. Well, can I sit on that then, yeah? You can. <laughs> I'm really happy I've gone through there. So guys, it's the end of this episode. What a great episode it's been. This has been one of my most enjoyable things to do. I love this thing. I know. It's very cool. The and we had to end it like this, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, I'm about 16 and a half stone and this feels sturdy. There's not one little bit of bow in it. I don't know all. whether that's above the threshold and I don't know whether we're breaking the Ineos rules at the moment. Ah. But we'll have to take that one, won't we? The Ineos Grenadier. <laughs> Analog car in a digital world. <laughs> They're going to the use that, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> what a way to end the video. Out, outside of the safari roof lights, which are I woke up in the middle of the night. With ideas? Yeah, but I think I'm gonna have a water trap here. So I've got to think of something different for the roof light. 
because if I cut this out. Just not, yeah. Anyway. So guys, that's it for this week. Don't forget to get in the comments. Tell us what you think of the Ineos Grenadier. And of course, hit that subscribe button. We've got so much more content like this on our channel. Thanks guys. <laughs> We've got the I'm blue gonna be I made this look a lot. Wait a minute. You, you get, have to go back with the car. Get the butter. Get the butter. Can I get some butter? Butter. I need butter. <laughs> we got an outtake at the end there, then yeah.